All right, in this situation, I'm at, we're at war with the Kurgit cannot, cannot. This guy has 182 troops. He's being chased by somebody with just 127 troops. But I noticed that Boyer Nilag has um, 15 horsemen, 35 knights, and 36 guards. This guy has 23 horse archers, 60 horsemen, 23 lancers. It would, this would be definitely, I would say, a nasty fight for me to be in. I have 12 knights and 14 Swadian knights. And the rest are footmen and such. But this would certainly be an interesting, um, an interesting battle. So, although I'm surprised that a guy with 182 is running from a guy with 127. So I'm going to get in front of him. And I'm hoping, of course, that Boyer Nilag will join me if um, Brula Noyan attacks me. So I'm going to stay with this and hope that this will turn into a fight. Up, ah, and Boyer Nilag joined. I'll just say, he says, uh, tell me your name. It's always good to know your enemy. And I say, I am Tanmora, sir. I am Brula Noyan, a vassal of Kurgit Kanat, and the lord of Malayur Castle and Rindyar Castle. You may have bested Dundush Noyan. I fought him earlier, but you cannot defeat us all. What is it? Uh, I will say this audience is over. I leave now because I don't want to get minuses with him by telling him to surrender or die. And then I'll let the other guy attack him. And then I'll jump in and help. That will avoid getting additional minuses with Brule Annoyan. So this audience is over. I leave now and he was delayed. And Brula Noyan says, we will meet again. Let's see, he's moving at 1.8. <clears throat> and Boyer Nilag is moving at 1.8. How do I get Boyer Nilog to attack this guy? Hmm. There, a fight is going to have to happen here as some other vagars must show up. What do you think? There they go. Time for me to jump in. All right. Move in to help Boyer Nilog against Brula Noyan. I'll say charge the enemy, but I'll say F, F, F1, F1. Then F1, let me place my troops further up. This is going to be a long battle. I 
think this ground will be good for my people to defend. Um, let's get zero F1, F3. I'll have everybody charge. It's going to be a pain chasing down all these horse archers. There you go. I got that guy. Got you. Okay, good. This is going to be a long fight. All right, this is a mess. I need to get out of this. Goodness, moving targets are harder to hit. Yeah, so this is a pain. Let me collect my people up in the middle here, since it's probably a drawn out battle. On the ground, he can't do as much. All right. Now, zero F1, F3, once I collected them together. Right, in a long battle, I think it's good to collect people to one area to regroup. Zero, F1, F3. Battle one. Press tab to leave. I had three killed. Ally had 14 killed. And the other guy had 86 killed. 
So, and out of 47 horsemen, 45 have been killed. So we're making progress, but he had, what, about 100 other left? So we have 171 troops against their 84 now. So next round of the battle, charge, F1, F1 to hold this position, 1, F2, F1, F2, F1, and then 2, F1 here. Give it a minute. Zero F one. Uh, no. Zero F two F one. Move them up. F two F one. And I'll do zero F one F three and have them charge. Oh, I should have swung. Gotcha. Or the other guy got him. And he's dead. That's what he gets. That's the way you roll. Chase them until they run out of options. With my troops mostly together, they'll do a little bit better than they will individually. That's what you get. Where are you at? Let's see there. Want to cut them off. Once you get them cut off, they go down. yet yep they got to be slowed down for people to hit them and there have to be a group of people available to hit them with ah uh, he escaped And battle won. All right, I had two killed. My ally had four killed. And they had 63 killed. Now we have 149 against 19. Uh, we, I'm just going to let them... Uh, I'll have them follow me. So I'll do F1, 
F2 because it's automatically set on everybody when you first go into the battle. So there's so many troops, this is three rounds. All right, now these cavalry will pin them down. I brought them here now zero, at, well, I didn't need to do zero, but I told everybody to charge. Oh, you got me from from behind. Once they're on the ground, several people can attack them. Only 16. This should not last very long. This battle's pretty much a mop up now. I have no casualties. Ally had one killed. They had 16 killed. My relation increases with the Vegas and with Boyer Nilog, which is the reason for jumping into these. One of them is to, and you notice I didn't go down in relation because I just jumped in to help my own people. Now, Boyer Nilog says, good to see you here, Tanmora. There is no greater fortune than the chance to show one's valor on the field of arms. Brula Noyan of Kurgit. Kanate managed to escape. Now, you notice I lost five people. And yeah, there's a lot, uh, a lot of my uh, companions are wounded uh, fairly far down. But if you look, there are a lot of rescued prisoners. So I can replace my losses based on the top group. The captured enemies are the ones that I can sell to ransom uh, ransom people. So what I would do, I would notice that my infantry, I have nine. And so I would need more infantry. Uh, let's see. So I'll certainly hire uh, two of the Vager guards. Now, a Swadian man-at-arms becomes a Swadian knight, but I already have 14 Swadian knights, and I never lose them. And if we ever fight Swadia, they'll abandon me. So the Vagar knights might be nice to add. Uh, now, let's see. I have 15 marksmen and four sharpshooters. Rodok sharp, that's 19. And one skirmisher, that's 20, four Rodok crossbowmen. I think 20 archery units is enough. Um, I I'm favor the mounted units. I have 77, so I can get three more. So maybe I'll take two Vager Knights. And... Um, And then I'll take another marksman. And that's my capacity. And then you want to capture the most advanced enemies you can get because you get the most money for them when you sell them back through the ransom people. So now my company's at full 80. And... I'm actually going to leave this in a second to deal stuff out to my party members, the companions, unless you want to see them. Because uh, most of this I don't, I don't really need.
Now, there's 104 here. I, all of us are wounded. And Boyer Nelag is wounded. So I'm just going to run in this case. So you don't have to watch me do that. Thank you for watching.